Today we're going to talk about trading the morning and evening star patterns. So uh, as always, uh, we appreciate that we've been in rather a tumultuous times here. Okay, as we uh, as we do this um, as we do this webinar here, we hear all Admiral Markets. We hope you're uh, you're safe. Hope your families are, are well, and that uh, you know we appreciate you to help engage uh, with markets and improve your trading education and understanding. And uh, as always, I appreciate, you know, we always have a bit of a broad range of people in the room from people who are complete beginners to people who've been trading for a considerable length of time. So uh, it would really help me if, you know, you'd be good enough just to put in the chat box, you know, what, if any experience you've had of trading the morning and evening star patterns. Maybe you've had some really great experiences and, you know, you'd like to share it. That would be fantastic. Alternatively, maybe you've never even heard of them. Maybe you've never even heard of them, okay? And you're hoping to, to hear, to find out and, and sort of have them explained to you either way it'd be great just let us know in the chat box it'll help us uh, and also it helps me just you know sort of uh, just understand the kind of uh, the, the level of uh, people we have here in the room to, um, to today so <clears throat> what am i going to talk about today well not unsurprisingly i'm actually going to talk about and explaining what actually are morning and evening star patterns and where do we find them on the charts? How uh, how do they actually uh, how are they created? Where do where do we find them? Okay, and most importantly for you all, how do we trade these markets using these star patterns? Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have a look at some of those star patterns in live markets at the end. I'll switch across to the Admiral Markets MT4 platform and we can have a look. So stay with us, okay? And, and you know we'll be able to go through the kind of el education element of it but then also be able to sort of look at it in live markets because I understand and appreciate that, you know, uh, it, you know, things become a lot more easy to understand and apply when you actually see it on a live chart happening there in front of you. So um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is uh, Paul. Okay, I've uh, traded for, for many years. Okay, I've been fortunate to sort of trade for funds and for high net worth clients. Uh, primarily, personally, I focus on FX indices and commodities. Uh, and I like to uh, sort of for my longer term trades to be a uh, trend trader uh, and a reversal and mean reversion trader for shorter term intraday trading. Uh, and here at Admiral Markets, as you can see there, okay, they're a, a broker with a, you know, a broad range of financial instruments on offer with a, a real global reach. And they are uh, uh, regulated across uh, various regulatory environments across the, uh, the globe, providing competitive spreads on the most uh, popular trading products uh, and allowing you to engage with markets using both MT4 and MT5 as well. If you have any questions about that, get in touch with your account representative and they'll be very happy to, uh, to guide and help you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's focus on our uh, main meat for today, okay? Namely, trading the morning and evening star patterns. So, those of you who've joined us on the uh, the remainder of the uh, trading spotlight webinars that we've covered over the uh, you know the last nearly a year now, okay, you'll realize that you know we've covered many forms of price action and candlestick patterns on the trading spotlight series, uh, and that's one of the great elements of the trading spotlight series is that you know those webinars are you'll find are in the kind of webinar archive, you'll find them on our uh, YouTube channel, on the Facebook page, and also in our uh, Traders Yard page. So it's a case if you're not really sure about them understanding price action, go and find them. You'll find that there's some great uh, content from myself and also from my colleagues, Marcus and Jens, that will help give you just more inside information about price action and candlestick patterns. But today we're going to focus on the morning and the evening star patterns, which are important patterns in both trading and chart um, analysis. In this session, we'll discuss the different star patterns and how traders can engage with this in their own trading endeavors. So, you know, my own personal experience is that morning and evening star patterns, um, you know, they don't happen as often as we would like, but when they do happen and when they happen within the right context of what's going on within the, the chart, you know, they can be um, very, uh, you know, very easy to identify patterns uh, and also very tradable, okay? They're, they're very simple and easy to identify and trade. I just wish they happened uh, more often than they, than they do. So, you know, as I said, 
you know, if you've got some experience of, you know, morning or evening stars, then it will be great to, to hear, you know, whether you, maybe you've traded them on sort of longer term charts, maybe you trade them on intraday charts. If you've had that experience, let us know, pop that in the chat box. Maybe you've got uh, some thoughts and idea, or maybe you're watching this, okay, later on the uh, YouTube channel, uh, you know, and you might have questions for about, you know, morning and evening star packs. That's absolutely fine. Just put them in the, uh, in the sort of in the box there, okay, on the YouTube channel, and you'll find that we'll be very happy to, uh, to take those questions on and, and answer them. And, and perhaps maybe if you've got ideas of, of topics you'd like to, us to see cover in the future by all means ping them in there and we'll be happy to take them on board so but let's look at morning and evening star patterns what we have to realize is that by their nature candlestick patterns are a reversal pattern which is something that sometimes people forget because it is so simple and the truth of the matter is you know if a candlestick pattern is a reversal pattern well you know you need something to reverse beforehand okay candlestick patterns tend to work well at the end of trends, whether that be a bull trend or whether that be a bearish trend. Candlestick reversal patterns, okay, because the reverse patterns, they are the validity, okay, their strength diminishes if you're trying to trade them in a range or in, in a period of actual consolidation for the most part. So it's about understanding, firstly, there has to be in a trend in place. There's got to be a trend for me to have a, a decent reversal pattern to, uh, to remove. And what we have done, and we've covered, you know, and as I said, in many of the previous sessions, we've covered popular candlestick patterns like pin bars and rejection candles here. Let's draw, use our older drawing tools here. Okay, as I said, you know, we've used, you know, we've covered things like pin bars, okay, and rejection candles. But we've covered engulfing candles as well, okay. There is a, there's a session or two in there in the, in the archive. Uh, and we also looked at uh, key reversal candles, one of, uh, one of my own particular favorites so they are all very valid very simple very useful candlestick reversal patterns to know that show up in price action and what we'll realize is morning and evening stars are, are part of that kind of same price action reversal patterns so if you've been able to learn those okay that we've covered beforehand and understand them well then you should also be able to take on board the morning and evening star pattern as I said, they don't happen as often as we would like, okay, but when we do, well then, you know, if we've uh, educated and trained to understand how to see these, well, then you're in a position to, to add that to your trading toolbox for when you work for when these opportunities appear. So, what is the morning star pattern? Well, the pattern is found at the end of a down move very often at a support zone. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a demand area. Maybe it's a support level. Okay. Maybe it's a big round number. But what we do is it's a quite a simple three bar reversal pattern. Okay. Or three candles, depending upon how you wish to uh, uh, sort of label them. But what we can see here, as we've got our tool, is that the, the first candlestick is invariably a kind of a large and bearish candle. As I said, normally having come as part of a downtrend. The second candle here, candle two, is usually a small bodied candle. Very often it can be neither rejection or a doji candle. A doji candle here, I'll try and draw one out, but as always I say, please excuse my, uh, my artistry, okay? I'm a better trader than I am an artist, but it's a case of a doji candle, which you can see, and you know, we'll do, we'll do a session on them in the future as well. It's like an indecision candle, okay? But it's normally the second candle is usually a small bodied candle. And the third candle, okay, is a large bullish candle, denoting that the bulls have taken over that market. So what's happened to here is the price has come down. We've had the bears in control. The bulls have stepped in. And by the end of the third candle, at least, we know that the actual the bulls have taken over control of that market. So if you think about it, you've got like a couple of things all coming together. You know you've been in a downtrend. It's very possible that you're at a support level of some sort or another. And then the price action itself demonstrates that this is a place where the bulls have stepped into the market and they have taken control, okay? They've taken control of the market away from the bears. The bears have exhausted themselves, thrown in the towel, and the bulls are likely to, uh, to have taken control. And we're expecting that actually the future moves will be to the upside. 
Why is it called a morning star, you think? Well, think about this. Think morning is like sunrise, okay? And that's what you're thinking about when you see these three candles, though. It's almost this case, you know, there's been darkness, and actually, as the, as the price is rising, okay, it is like a sunrise, okay? Remember, we're expecting at the end of this as a reversal pattern, the morning star pattern is going to show us the price is going to be bullish and move higher. Price will rise, okay? It is like the sunrise. Hence why it is basically named the morning star, because we see the morning star, okay, at the start. That's where we ex expect to see our sunrise. So if you struggle to um, if you struggle to remember or to, uh, to then remember the names, just think about, you know, think about sunrises and sunset, and that will actually help you uh, understand that much, much better. So, you know, Philip said, you know, I've, I've heard of these morning star patterns, but I've not traded them directly. Uh, Robert says, you know, I've not had any experience, but I've only heard of them. But, uh, well, hopefully as you're going through this, this will start to align. And as I said, it, perhaps you've actually already seen this particular pattern on your charts, but you've just never really understood what it was. You never really knew that it was actually a morning star formation. You never really understood what, it, what its implication or how it worked out. And that's absolutely fine. That's what this session is for, to help you with that, to help you understand that far better. And as I said, you know, it's called the morning star pattern because it is considered a sign of hope in a bleak market downtrend, right? In perfect examples, the star will have no overlap with the longer bodies as the market gaps both on open and close. However, that is rarely the case in FX markets due to their 24-6 nature. But especially if you were trading, let's say, stocks, you'd expect to see it. And let's, uh, let's see if I can uh, draw it in, okay, in my, uh, in my own particular style. So if we had, you know, we had candle one here, okay, it was a bearish candle. Well, then what might actually happen here, as it says in a perfect example, is that you, know, you might actually have a gap. All right, you might have a gap down the next day, okay, and it forms as either a little small rejection candle or a small, uh, um, a small uh, a rejection candle or doji there, sorry, but here we go. But that's actually what you might see on something like a stock pattern, okay? You've got candle one, a gap, and then candle two, and then basically candle three, okay, is the bullish candle to show the end of the uh, of that reversal. But as I said, very often, uh, especially on things like FX markets, okay, you, you're more likely to see the pattern here like this, and that there is actually a continuation, okay? Price, you know, price closes here, price opens here, price closes here, price opens here, okay? So you're more likely to see that. But it's, you know, especially if you're a stock trader, that is, you know, you should not be surprised if you see that kind of um, morning star pattern. So <clears throat> how do we trade the, the morning star pattern, ladies and gentlemen? What is it we're looking for? How do we look to enter? Well, today is a kind of, let's say, uh, the introduction, okay? We're going to talk about, you know, the sort of the standard, let's say, conventional way to, to trade them in an order to, to basically give people, you know, from across the entire broad range, how to, to effectively engage with markets doing this. But what we can do is when candle three completes, right, and the, uh, the focus there is on the word complete, you can buy the market, okay? You can buy the market. So, well, that might be here as a case of, you know, this is a particular example. We've got, you know, candle one here, candle two, candle three here. And when this candle closes, okay, this candle closes, well, then invariably you'd be looking to, to buy the market at that particular, uh, at where it basically closed and when the next candle opens. And your stop loss would go down beneath the low of candle two, okay? Your stop loss would go beneath the low of candle two, okay? So that might be just, you know, depending upon the, the, uh, the, the time frame you're trading on this. And this is one of the good things about the, the star patterns, okay, which you'll actually see across the, uh, the range, okay, in terms of what we talk about is morning star patterns will show up across all time frames and across all instruments. So it doesn't matter whether you whether you trade sort of euro dollar on the one minute chart or you trade gold on the four hour chart or maybe you trade bitcoin on the daily chart and maybe you might trade you know sort of dollar cad on monthly charts you'll find that these star patterns they will show up across all time frames and across all instruments okay so they are a, a very versatile trading pattern to understand no because you will see them 
across the uh, across the board. But as we said, the entry would be effectively once candle three completes, you can buy the market, and then the stop loss goes beneath the low of candle two. And what we're looking for as a standard to begin with is that your target should be twice your trade risk. Okay, so if you're entering here and your stop loss is here, well, then you're going to be looking for at least you know two times, okay, two times your actual trade risk. Okay, that'll just give you a nice little sort of two to one reward to risk. Okay, and that's what we kind of uh, suggest. Now, for those of you who have a bit more experience or those of you, you know, who are, uh, you know, let's say more aggressive in your trading styles, there are variations on that and how you can do that. And I'm sure, you know, with a little bit of uh, your own personal research, you could, uh, you could understand that to a little bit better, even just seeing them, how they play out on charts. But to begin with today, so that everybody, you know, even from people who've never heard of uh, star patterns could take away, we're literally on a morning star pattern, once you've identified it, once candle three completes, Okay, you can buy the market. Stop loss goes beneath the point of uh, uh, the lower point two, uh, and you're looking for a, a target of two to one. Okay, on your trade risk. So I hope that uh, helps just give you a little bit of insight into how you can uh, set them up and actually see them in uh, in the chart and how you would actually look to trade a, a morning star pattern. So that was the morning star. Well, you know, well, what, what's the evening star then? Okay, we have morning stars, we have evening stars, and uh, it shouldn't come as any real surprise to you, ladies and gentlemen, that the evening star pattern is the exact opposite of the morning star pattern. Fancy that, hey? Uh, and so this pattern is found at the end of an up move, okay, of a bullish move, preferably at a, a resistance area. Maybe it's an area of supply, maybe it's a big round number, maybe it's a resistance level, okay? We've always talked about, you know, uh, certainly for myself about how it's great to have a confluence of events with your trading, okay? To have a confluence of events, having two to four things coming together at a particular time and place that would allow you to sort of make a, uh, a better trading decision. And so, you know, let's have a look at how the uh, evening star pattern is formed. Well, you know, as I said, we were expecting it to come at the end of of an uptrend. The first candle, okay, is kind of it's a large bullish candle. You're under no uh, illusions who's in control of the market there. Uh, and then we have a, uh, a second small body candle, okay, as the star, okay, which is indicating indecision. Uh, and that might be a doji, it might be a shooting star, it could be a hanging man, okay. But uh, it invariably looks, you know, as I said, a little bit like a star formation. Uh, and then the third candle, all right, then we have a strong bearish candle indicating that the bears have taken over and in such we expect the, the trend to reverse and price to actually to, to move further south for the next couple of sessions. So it's, you know, as I said, it's, it's quite simple. It's, it's an element of these things coming together, okay, coming together. And a little bit like, you know, admittedly, as we said, you know, this is what we could see on a, uh, you know, on a 24 hour market. It might be a little bit different for, um, for stock traders, but it's, it's actually, it's understanding the concept. That's the key element, okay? Understanding the concept there, understanding that concept of strong bullish first candle, into a level of resistance after an uptrend. That second candle being maybe a doji, maybe a re rejection candle, a pin bar, a, har a harami, a shooting star, okay, or a hanging man. And then the third candle, you know, we've had a real strong bearish move there, okay, and that's just giving us an indication of what's um, what's moving. So, uh, so Robert says, you know, I call that at a uh, at a three bar reversal, and 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 that's absolutely right, Robert. As I said, um, you know, a little bit earlier, you, you might some of the experienced traders here might have recognized and understood this pattern or seen this pattern on the charts, but not realized what its particular name was, okay, or how it basically fit into the, uh, the kind of the bigger the bigger picture on the markets. You know, there will be people who will have, yeah, as I said, have, you know, have seen this and labeled it in different ways, okay. Some people will have called it a three bar reversal because it needs three bars. Uh, and it's a, uh, it, you know, it's a case of now, hopefully once you see them now, now you're in a position to recognize, all oh, right, well, that's a morning star or in this particular case, it's an evening star. Uh, and Carol says, you know, is morning star and evening star a normal pattern in trading? Yeah, yes, they are. They're a, it's a very normal pattern in trading. Um, what I would say though is, that, you know, they don't happen as often as say pin bars or rejection candles. They kind of happen more things like key reversals, okay? They don't happen as often, but you know, when they do happen, you know, and once you've studied them enough to realize and be able to sort of, you know, recognize them, to so sear them into your cognitive recognition abilities, once you see them on charts, you'll be able to find and see them very, very clearly. And what we'll do is, as I said, as we go on, 
we'll switch across to the live charts. We'll have a look at a few charts just across different instruments, different time frames to give you an idea of where we can see these actually, uh, I think, see these actually happening because I appreciate that always helps just effectively just to understand, you know, the, uh, the, the overall concept. Uh, Philip says, is the second candle always to be in the direction of the original trend? Um, that's, a, that's a good question. That's a, that's a great question, Philip. Uh, it, not necessarily, okay? Not necessarily. Very often it will be, okay? Very often it will be, but it is not necessary, okay? Not entirely necessary. That candle too, uh, you know, as I said, it could be, it could be a, you know, a bullish or a bearish rejection candle. It could actually be a bullish or a bearish doge in terms of the way it closes. Uh, you know, or things like shooting stars and hanging mans, okay? And it's a, yeah, it's a case of recognizing. But what will become clear is once that third candle has completed, and in this particular case for an evening star, it's a you know, strong, bearish candle, well, then invariably what that has done is, you know, that, that's given you the confirmation, all right? That has given you the confirmation that we have got this reversal that has occurred over these last three uh, candles and that we're expecting bosh, you know, we're expecting price to, to, to drift down. <clears throat> so, as I said, you know, same with the morning star, okay, in a perfect example, the star will have no overlap with the, the long bodies of the market gaps, both on the open and close. Um, that is rarely the case in the FX markets due to their 24-6 nature. But if you are a stock trader, you know, you might see here, and as I said, oh, I always uh, ask for some, uh, uh, indulge me in my terrible artistry, okay? But you, hopefully you'll get the idea. So, you know, we've had, we've had, you know, we've been in uptrend, okay? We've had a really strong bullish candle here, okay? And it's a daily chart, let's say, for example. Uh, and then the next day, actually, what happens is, you know, we, we gap up on the open, uh, but actually the price, you know, the price just really, it trades up, trades down, closes as a, uh, you know, as a, almost like a perfect doji, all right? And then next day, what we see is, you know, a very strong, okay, bearish candle, all right? A very strong bearish candle before we expect price to sort of move downwards. So you very often might see that on things like stocks, okay? Anything that has a, a you know, a set market, uh, set market timings, okay? So things like sometimes like the equity indices, sometimes like some of the commodities, some of the some of the emerging market currencies, but um, but also, you know, mostly the individual stocks, okay? You would see that. Whereas if you're trading this on a 24, uh, on FX markets, you know, it's you, uh, you know, there will be an overlap, okay? So, you know, that market, you know, that session closes there, okay? Opens here, closes here, opens here, closes there, okay? But the, the whole idea is really recognizing the idea that, you know, invariably price is just reversed, okay? It's rolled over, reversed, and now the bears are in control. And that's that's what we're trying to understand, okay? The bears have taken over that kind of bull trend. It's over. It's done. The bears are in control and they're the ones now we're expecting you know, the sessions, next couple of sessions, the probability is that price will actually trade lower and we want to be able to be prepared for that. So, how do we enter, okay? How do we enter a uh, an evening star formation? You know, well, it's not entirely, it's just, you know, kind of the flip side of the, the morning, the morning star formation. So we have, once again, we're waiting for candle three to complete, okay? Once you're in candle three complete, then you're in a position to sell the market, okay, at the, uh, at the open of the, the next candle. As usual, the stop loss goes a couple of points above point two candle two okay and what we'll be looking for is you know if we know what our uh, trade risk is in terms of you know between our entry and our stop loss well then you know we're going to be looking for a, a target that is twice okay two to one all right two to one of reward versus risk on your trade okay and as i said as i said for the morning star pattern more experienced traders will have you know maybe ideas okay how you could trade that a little bit more aggressively but to begin with today, ladies and gentlemen, that would be, you know, the kind of standard, okay, standard way to sort of to trade uh, an evening star formation. Wait for candle three to close, okay? Don't get too excited and start entering early. Wait for candle three to complete. Then you can sell the market, okay? You make sure your stop loss goes above the higher point two, 
and as a target we're looking for a uh, uh, looking for that to be twice the uh, the reward of our of our trade risk in place okay and uh, you know in this particular example here you can see that price has clearly come up to what was you know a level of uh, resistance we had you know we had a very strong you know bullish candle into it candle two was you know it was a bearish okay it's a bearish rejection candle there and then candle three okay is a you know a strong bearish candle so hopefully you can see that so it's a little bit like uh, the question we just had there uh, before i think it might have been from uh, carol or so but uh, saying did candle two have to be you know have to be bullish or bearish it you know it doesn't necessarily have to very often it will be okay very often it will be point two candle two will be the same color as the uh, the candle one from the the in this particular case from the uptrend it doesn't always have to be it's it's more about understanding the kind of the the relationship between those three candles into the bigger picture okay into the bigger picture of, of where that price has happened after in this particular case an uptrend and if you can start to see that and recognize that and just practice looking for that well then it becomes a lot easier it becomes very quick and very clear to recognize that uh, invariably you know you could be uh, you know you could be uh, you know adding this to your particular trading style and certainly what you will find is people who are very experienced you know who have experienced some trading you know they might see candle one here close and think nothing of it when candle two closes okay when candle two closes like that as a you know bearish rejection they may already be ready they might be sort of saying well okay you know we'll see you know what the next candle does and when they see candle three completes and shows them that three bar reversal that evening star pattern well the trade is on ladies and gentlemen very clear very simple okay once that candle three completes you sell the market your stop goes above 0.2 your target goes two times your risk away so it becomes almost kind of a uh, very simple okay very easy almost like you can make a little checklist out of that you could have it just a little routine that would actually help build and create the correct trading behaviors okay uh, and then you know you can just uh, let that trade play itself play itself out there uh, and, and as i said Unfortunately, these patterns don't happen as often as we would like. Okay, but when they do, and when they, as I said, when you have, you know, at the at the end of a trend, at a particular level of support resistance, they are very solid trading uh, setups. Very solid indeed. So, um, you know, this is a particular, just an example here. This is the pound against the uh, the sort of the U.S. dollar. It's the daily chart here, uh, and what we can see is that you know. Well, we can see price has been in an uptrend okay price has been trugging its way up there okay working its way you know we have candle one here then we have candle two here okay which is it's a little bit of a rejection candle a little bit of a high wave candle but then what we can see is candle three okay candle three is a you know it's a strong bearish candle okay it's a really closing down its lows here okay uh, and we can see that that one two three that three bar reverse term, that evening star formation has occurred so you'd effectively be, you know, you'd be selling, okay, you'd be selling the market, okay, when that candle closes, your stop would be above 0.2. Uh, and then we're actually looking for, uh, you know, a, a two to one, which probably you might be here, or it actually might be a bit further down there that you'd have to wait for. But actually, that's, that's what we'd be looking for, okay. And that's on a daily chart. But as I said, you know, uh, you know, one of the, the sort of kind of things about price action patterns is being able to share them because they are uh, ubiquitous okay and they are uh, 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 most definitely kind of versatile in the sense that they can be used across all time frames and across all instruments okay i appreciate the people who come here to join our sessions they you know they come from a broad range of trading uh, experiences okay in terms of you know where and how you'd engage in markets and so hopefully you know that this is something that you can take away and start to look at on your own charts and that's what I'd be saying is a bit of homework for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, just take this pattern away. Just go back through the charts of your preferred, favorite, okay, um, trading set, uh, trading instruments. Go through maybe even some of your previous trades if you've kept good records and good screenshots of them, and just see, you know, did any of these morning star or evening star patterns show up, or in the past when they have shown up, have they shown up at the end of a trend? Okay, at a particular level of support resistance. And you know, giving you a confluence of events that gives you the confidence to basically sort of to, to take the trade in the direction of candle three.
Uh, so here's an example on this is the Aussie dollar, okay? The Aussie dollar on the four hour chart, okay? So um, price has been, you know, in a downtrend, fighting its way down there, okay? We have candle one, okay, which is a bearish candle. We get candle two, okay, which, you know, um, people would, some people would consider that to be a uh, rejection candle, okay? I would look at that as a, as a bit of a rejection candle. Some people might think of that as a, uh, a, a form of, uh, of doji candle. But as I said, once candle three completes, and if you see candle three is a strong bullish candle, okay? We've got that three candle reversal going on, okay? Bearish candle followed by indivision uh, indecision uh, rejection reversal confirmed by the strong bullish candle for uh, point 0.3 and then as you can see for yourself okay price in itself trended strongly up from there okay and that's that's what we're looking for again this was on a four hour chart on the uh, on the aussie against the uh, the us dollar it's quite a nice simple nice simple setup when candle three completes, you can buy the market, okay? Stop loss goes beneath the, uh, the low of candle two, and your target is twice your uh, trade risk, okay? So if you imagine that, if you think about that in terms of your risk to reward, if your, uh, you know, if your uh, um, risk to reward, okay, is, is one to two, okay, if uh, you, you work in that operation way and you let that trade play out, well, you know, invariably anything above, you know, uh, four out of 10 on your hit rate and, and you actually have a, you know, you're, you're, you're being profitable, okay? You're being very nicely profitable. So it, it's a case of, you know, you just identify the pattern, place the trade, make sure that your risk is managed and your stop loss is in the right place, your target is in the right place, and then you can let that trade play out. So um, here's uh, an example, and this is an example from the DAX, okay? And this is, uh, you know, the DAX, the German index, and this is the kind of weekly chart, okay, here. So uh, um, kind of a little bit different, but, you know, the, the, you're still getting the actual, uh, you're still getting the, uh, um, you're still getting the, you know, the same pattern, right? As in price has been working its way down. We get candle one, okay, which is, in this case, you know, it's a strong bearish candle. We get candle two occurring, which you can see there is, you know, it's definitely as kind of a little doji candle, spinning top almost candle. And then candle three is a very bullish candle, okay? It's a very strong bullish candle. Uh, and actually we can see that price raises its way up there, okay? And, and so once again, it is just about waiting, to, waiting for candle three to complete. Okay, that's the key thing. You wait for candle three to complete so you can actually confirm that you actually have, as in this particular case, a morning star pattern that you can do. And then you're in a position to actually sort of take the, uh, take the trade and, and establish, a, uh, establish a position. So, you know, sometimes people see, as I said, they'll, they'll see candle two forming and think, oh, here we go. This is morning star. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to try and be super smart and, and just, uh, you know, enter long here, which is possible but you are taking on much much more risk all right wait for candle three to complete that is what you know suggests that's what makes and creates the morning star pattern and uh um so a uh, question is saying are the candlesticks better than bollinger bands uh, it's kind of an interesting um it's an interesting question that okay uh, it, it, it's not really it's, it's different okay this is different from uh, the bollinger bands what i would suggest is if you have bollinger bands on your chart and then you find a, a morning or an evening star formation created okay at the uh, outside of the bollinger bands well you know you've got a uh, you've got an additional little trade confirmation there uh, Amber says, is there another evening star in the top? Um, yes, you can see here that, that, you know, you might actually say is that there is another evening star uh, there. And you could say that my only personal point here would, um, I, I personally would prefer, you know, to have a, a stronger close, okay? A stronger, you know, more bearish close on the candle, okay? Well, remember what we said, we want to, we want to be left in no uncertain terms who's in control of this market, okay? We don't want to, we don't want any ambiguity. We want to have a big, strong bearish candle okay for uh, for that evening star and that is what um that is what would uh, have me uh, that's what have me interested but effectively that is an evening star formation but remember you know what you want to see for candle three is for an evening star is a very strong bearish candle okay real big body on it that's that's what we particularly like to uh, particularly like to see but um, um sharp eyes there amber nice uh, nice pickup
So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, the morning and evening star pattern are, are powerful price action reversal patterns. The morning star pattern occurs at the end of a long downtrend. The price action reflects buyers stepping in and taking control of the market. The evening star pattern occurs at the end of an uptrend and the price action reflects sellers stepping in and taking control of the market. The patterns work across all time frames and instruments. So this is a very simple pattern, but very powerful that if you do enough practice, okay, enough training yourself to recognize it, it's a very simple little tool to add to your, uh, to your trading toolbox, okay? And as I said, it, it doesn't happen as often as we would like it to, but when it does, it's worth sitting up and taking notice, ladies and gentlemen. So why don't we have a little look at a few examples on live charts? I appreciate that always helps people, you know, and it sort of helps sort of solidify the idea and maybe sometimes recognize where we can see these, uh, these patterns show up. And uh, if you want more support, okay, from uh, the Trading Spotlight series, well, then why don't you come and join us in our uh, Trading Spotlight community on Traders Yard? Uh, I'm going to be in there for the rest of the afternoon. And my colleagues, Marcus and Jens, they, you know, they, they post some great stuff every day there, okay, on their own particular ideas and thoughts on markets. Uh, you'll also find recordings of previous webinars will be in there and you get a chance to actually chat to me, okay? Just drop me an email, drop me a message in there if you have any questions. And I'll be very happy to help you and I'm very happy to sort of uh, give, you, uh, give you some uh, guidance. Uh, and as I said, join the Trading Spotlight group, tradersyard.com forward slash group forward slash 312. And uh, don't forget to join us next time on the Admiral Markets Trading Spotlight series where my colleague Marcus will be talking about how to trade a small account. So he's going to talk about, you know, how small is small, the benefits of trading when you have a small account balance and you know, how many trades is it possible or realistic to, to manage on a small account. And that's what he'll be talking about on Wednesday, 1st of July at uh, London, 2 p.m. As always, there's lots of analysis and education resources on the admiralmarkets.com website. If you want to get in touch with us, you can contact us at the email, hello at admiralmarkets.com. Check all the yeah, web videos out at youtube.com forward slash admiralmarkets. And you can look at facebook.com admiralmarketsglobal. I hope you found that useful. Okay, I hope that's giving you just some food for thought. And as I said, if you just uh, bear with us, what we'll do is we'll switch across to some live charts, okay? And we can have a little look at uh, what's showing up there. So just uh, bear with us a, a moment. We'll switch across and we'll be able to uh, have a look at the charts. Okay. Super. So hopefully you can still all see me. Hopefully you can hear the uh, hear my voice, see me, see the screens. That would be uh, great. Um, uh, Robert says that that was great. Thanks, Paul. You're very welcome. As does Anthony says, thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Okay. Uh, Evelyn says, hi, Paul. Can I see the presentation? And again, I was too late. Uh, yes, you can, Evelyn. Okay, um, this rec this uh, presentation is recorded, and what you'll find is that the uh, Admiral Markets team will have it out on the uh, um, on the Admiral Markets uh, YouTube channel, on their Facebook page, and on the Traders Yard page. Uh, probably sometime in the next twenty four hours, by the time the uh, the video has been uh, uh, edited and rendered and uh, placed onto those platforms. But yes, you can see this, and in fact, all of the Trading Spotlight webinar series on the uh on our uh, video channels there so uh please by all means you know uh look at it and even if you have joined us and watched today it's always sometimes great to go back and watch that content because it just reaffirms that sometimes the second or third time you watch it is when you get you know when it all clicks into place for you tammy says great stuff thanks paul um that's you're very welcome tammy yeah, we uh, we like uh, we like helping you okay and hopefully this has done and uh here we go what what have i got here this is um yeah, let's get the old drawing tool out. This is what we've got. Is this is the monthly chart on gold? Okay, something a bit different. And uh, you know, monthly chart. Okay, so setups don't happen very often. But what we can see here, this is a couple of years ago because it's the monthly chart. But hopefully, you can see there that price was in a nice way in a nice downtrend there. And then what we had here was we had candle one here. Okay, big strong bearish candle. We then had candle two here, didn't we? Which was a kind of uh, doji, you know, indecision candle. And then we had candle three here, okay, didn't we? Which was a nice, good, strong, bullish candle, okay? So we had a, a real morning star formation there. 
morning star formation came down okay around about the 1050 okay 1050 uh, dollar mark and as you can see price rallied its way strongly up from there okay and that's what we're looking for end of a trend all right strong bearish candle okay for candle one candle two should be something like a doji or a rejection candle okay candle three should be a strong bullish candle once candle three is completed then you're free to enter in stop loss under point two target two times away from your uh, from your trade risk okay nice and simple you know as i said we, we you know i i uh, I like nice, simple setups, okay? Nice, simple, clear setups, okay? The, the, the more simple, the more clear they are, the happier I am as a, as a trader. I've learned for myself over the, uh, over the years. So that was, um, that was gold, all right, monthly. Um, let's have a look at, uh, let's have a look at Kiwi dollar. Here we go, here's Kiwi dollar. Uh, we can have a look at there. So let's zoom in here a bit, go through. So hopefully you might already be able to sort of see, you know, when we, uh, when we sort of established or saw this, uh, this evening star formation, okay? We can see that, get the old drawing tool. We can see that we've been in a nice trend, okay? Nice uptrend, very clear uptrend. You know, we had a, a nice candle one, okay? Which was, you know, nice, strong, bullish candle. We had candle two here, which was a doji, okay? It's a kind of a doji indecision, candle and then candle three was a strong bearish candle okay the 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 bears have stepped in okay they've wrestled control of the market from the bulls and basically the uh the, you know that that uptrend is over and actually what we can see is you know when that candle close okay you can sell the market with your stop above 0.2 and you know you're looking really for about a two to one two to one okay sort of reward for your risk which you achieve quite easily but as you can see you know when you can you know when you find a very good strong trend like that well then invariably that works quite uh, that works quite nicely there itself okay so you know you can see as i said they don't happen as often as we would like but you know when you start to see them when you start to appreciate them you recognize that you know they when they stand out they can be seen as uh, yeah as you know as really good reversal patterns so let's have a look at uh, yeah, let's have a look at a little another one here. Just clear these uh, drawings here, and uh, what else? Well, I thought we might have a little look at uh, something that's quite uh, happened quite recently. So yeah, let's have a look at euro yen. So here we're looking at the daily chart. Okay, so uh, um, here you go. Here's here's the kind of a daily chart here, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully it already just leaps off the chart at you as it is. So, you know, we've got, we've had a, uh, been a nice uptrend here. We have candle one here, which is, you know, a very clear, okay, bullish candle there. Okay. It's happened at what has clearly been a, a previous level of resistance. We get candle two up here, don't we? Okay. Which is a, uh, it's a rejection candle there. Okay. A rejection candle there, right? Just a very clear rejection candle. And then candle three is a very strong bearish candle, isn't it? Very strong bearish candle indeed. That is, you know, we've got our evening star. Okay, that is our evening star. We can enter. Okay, you know, once that once that candle completes, our stop will go above 0.2, and you know, we'll be looking for two to one in terms of your reward to risk on your trade. Okay, so as I said, and I've said a few times, you know, they don't happen as often as we'd like, but when they do set up like that, they can be very clear. Okay, very clear, very simple to see, and as I said. Just to take away for some homework, go through, okay, go through your charts, just pick a random chart, open it up, the random chart, random time frame, and just go back and study and see, can I find and see morning stars and evening star patterns, okay? Because, you know, once you trained yourself and taught yourself to be able to recognize them very clearly, well, then very much it becomes a, you know, a far easier way to actually, uh, um, you know, to see them when they're happening in, uh, in real time, regardless of what particular time frame you're, uh, you're looking to trade them. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I I hope you found this. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Okay. I hope you found it a uh, enlightening. I hope that uh, it's given you some little bit of uh, uh, some a little bit of some insight into you know how to recognise and see kind of morning star and evening star formations, and, and that actually you can see how you know they can appear on 
all sorts of instruments, different time frames. Okay, in regards of you know what your own particular trading style is. And as I said, I hope you just go away and just practice practice looking for morning star and evening star formations. Okay, and that will actually uh, help you sort of recognize them when you see them in uh, in the future in your own uh, trading. So uh, uh, as always, I wish you the very best of success in your own trading, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I look forward to chatting to you uh, uh, next Monday for myself. Uh, and as I said, I'll be in Traders Yard this afternoon. If you've got questions for me, if you want me to uh, sort of take a look at something, please just go in, join, ping away, and uh, we'll be very happy, to, uh, very happy to help you there. As always, uh, trade well, ladies and gentlemen. Many thanks.